Hey, you orange one here. So, uh, you know, I want to just take a minute before I actually go into the game and just ask people, how, how are you all holding up through the coronavirus? Um, cause I honest, I honestly am myself having a hard time with all of this and it's like, it's getting to go with the whole, like social injustice and the police brutality and all that stuff. It's getting to me, man. And I want to let you guys know if, if you need someone to talk to, hit me up, man. Like, it's okay. Like, I'm here for you. You guys have been here for me through a lot of tough times. And I just wanted to, like, offer that. If you want to, like, private message me. I know this seems, like, so weird to, like, plug my Discord with this, like, tone. But if you need to talk, that's probably one of the better ways to uh, get in contact with me. So, Because I'll see it, like... Um, you know, like give me a little notification then I'll be able to chat with you back and forth um I did have it on my phone I ended up taking off my phone so I'll try to be in, and check that fairly regularly but I just like I wanted to let you guys know that I was I'm here for you if you need me on that note these NPCs we're gonna be here for them as well <laughs> um <clears throat> basically I wanted to do a little bit more CVM removal and maybe see if we can get uh, back up to uh, the base a little bit. Um, these guys are are doing pretty good. Um, maybe I think actually hold on. Let me just check all of all of the people and their stuff because I think with Harvey we removed the CVM that was causing a lot of our issues. Um, oh, I can tell them to go to locations. I didn't know that. That's weird. Where's the thing? I'm not seeing it. I'd like to know more about you. Um, M. Okay. It is the same thing. I'm just blind. Um, so if we look here, I, I definitely have some ones I would still would like to take out. We are dehydrated though. So yeah. Um, let's see. Can I make water? I think, yeah, this is, we have the water purifier, so we can do this super easy. So if I do that, and then I just consume it all, <laughs> nice, okay. Um, can I maybe do that again? Yeah, cool. And I think that that's, man, we're actually a real thirsty thirsty boy, aren't ya? Um, go ahead and put that in a water bowl, yeah. Um, you know, maybe I'll do some of the CBM on, you know, installations off camera. I think we'll just go back to the NPC camp because we haven't done that in like forever. So we'll <clears throat> head on over there and work on that a little bit. Because I, I do think, um, <clears throat> I've forgotten the name of the person who commented it. I think you were right that Nash needs to get back to um, civilization a little bit just to give us a little bit honestly just to make it a little bit more entertaining and there to show you also the content of the game um but role playing wise we can say he wants uh his pets his half human pets <laughs> he's he's not a good person i never said he was <laughs> um yeah it kind of like begs the question with these half human mutants like what what do you do in terms of like legal protections and and whatnot for them like are they human still has this affected their intelligence and sentience you know the ethical questions of zombie animal mutant human hybrid uh experiments right <laughs> i mean the world's ended that doesn't mean that we have to be uncivilized right <laughs> oh man Yeah, let's just, uh, let's go down this way. This looks like just a, a tad faster than the other way. It does have this, uh, toxic dump right here, but I think we're okay off of our radiation levels. And I think, yeah, I, our main problem has been just, uh, like Harvey, he's just been way, 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 way too uh, tired all the time. I think his hunger is also an issue with the CBMs, um, but I think I removed that and the essential ones to remove with the other two. Uh, if we like look at like, these guys here and there, 
Are you not wielding anything? Have I not even given you a weapon? Well, I just want to take a second. I'm pretty sure I, it's, again, it's been a while since I was playing this. And I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys don't have the acidic CBM because I think that's the one that really leads to them dying pretty quick. Um, let's see, and then you also, yeah, I took out the, the acid one. You do have the electrical discharge, um, but I don't think that doesn't damage, yeah. So a lot of these things we're going to need to remove, but if you look at them, they're also kind of hurt. Like, also, uh, well, it's actually mostly Mason, <clears throat> excuse me. It was pretty hurt, so we just kind of want to maybe wait for those wounds to heal a little bit. Maybe get some first aid on there, and then we'll, we will might be able to remove more CBMs. Oh, look at our energy. What happened to our energy? It's really low um, for our, our car and transportation. It's, like, actually low enough to the point where I think we might need to turn on this engine. Yeah, let's just turn that off. We don't really need it, right? Yeah, we can we can get there. You know, it's so weird how like the demons are still kind of in the game. Like not really, but they kind of are. You know? Oh, oh geez. Let's uh let's get out of there. Wait, hold on, what casing? It must have been a casing that was just on the ground, right? Please tell me that we didn't lose like bullets or anything. Um, what was that? Southwest, you hear bang. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was probably a little loud. I just realized that after I, I made that noise. Um, I, mean, I could check at seven minutes to just make sure I didn't peek you out too much. Um, let's just take a second. I don't like uh, the fact that we are driving uh, with these doors open. <laughs> So I'm just going to take a second to take care of that. And we'll get back to the evac shelter. Oh no, are we out of fuel as well? What's going on with our gas and fuel? I feel like things are a lot lower than they should be. I mean, there's plenty of gas around in the towns, but we might need to actually rest our car up and get some solar power back. Oh, whoops. My bad. I kind of want to um, maybe leave Harvey at the evac shelter just so that we don't have to feed him. And then we could maybe do more work on these guys. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. Yeah, there's a there's quite a few ants between our, our little home and uh, the refugee center. That's fine though. It's I kind of like that having a little distance between us because it 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 makes the world feel a little bit more like The Walking Dead, you know. I always thought that was kind of cool. It's like all these little communities that pop up to take advantage of the local um, landscape and then they work together, you know. But it always did seem to me a little bit strange that they spread out so much. Like, I understand some of that. Like, you know, you gotta have, like, your your forward bases and whatnot, but it's kind of weird that it was, like, Hilltop and Alexandria and all these other places. It's like, um... Okay, Alexandria has houses. Hilltop has land to grow food. I get that. It's kind of a little bit different what they're doing and how they're doing it. But in a world without gasoline, you probably want to have um, your food production and your main living center uh, less than a day's travel from each other right <laughs> oh corrosive zombies where are they um hold on um i'm not actually seeing a corrosive zombie right now oh no i am they look like they are Oh, this, is, this isn't this is where I wanted to go, actually. Sorry. Wrong turn. Hopefully our engine doesn't just putter out on us. Um, I could actually... Oh, geez, sorry. I hate that view when it's that zoomed in. 
could check that vehicle for uh, gas. It might... No, it's it's got a busted tank. Now I'm wondering, was I at this? Was I playing at that? No, that, that looks wrong. Oh god. Yeah, that I think is what I usually play at, right? I was uh I was looking at like someone saying how Cogmind for Splattercat has like absolutely tiny uh tiles and so it's kinda hard to like watch. And I I could imagine that's true for like a phone. But like I don't know, like if you're displaying it on a ten eighty P monitor, it it looks essentially um like what I'm seeing, you know? Uh, let's see. Oh, we wanted to plant food. Ah, uh, yes. I remember now. That was the whole reason I wanted to come back here, was the crops could be planted. Um, can I just get... Oh my goodness, hello. It's a certain type of show in here. That, uh, yeah. Um... Who is it that's... Are you are you coming with me or what? Is this um, also... Which one? Oh yeah, you are. You are coming with. You're just kind of slow there. Kind of weird how slow you were. Uh, let's open that up. I just want to have the NPCs kind of in here a little bit. And... I mean, we could actually order one of them to do some gardening for us. Oh, what? You're coming through the window? What? Seriously? Okay, whatever. Um, can I... tell people to garden? Like, if I talk to... Actually, can I just talk to Louis just to see what uh, his... Oh, hold on, nope. Mm, I did not actually tell you to go anywhere. Talk to Louis. I do not want you going anywhere. Uh, what is it? How do I do this again? What's your current activity? Yes. Um, do farming work. Uh, it says that Louis completed the assigned task, but don't I have, like... Uh, yeah, I've got all that stuff right there. Is it possible that it's just because Louis doesn't have the seeds? Where are our seeds? I mean, I know I can do this myself. I was just hoping to get the NPCs to do it. Um, let's see, where would the seeds be? Do I have a seed specific thing? I do not. I could have sworn that I put seeds down somewhere though. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's get all those seeds. And I'm gonna just go over here. I think that our issue was that we were not in the same reality bubble. But I could also be wrong. I don't really know. So I want to take seeds. And yep, all of you. And then if I talk to Dortha, guess what? You gotta earn your keep. Um... Let's see. Current activity J. Please do some farming work. Uh, what? It says that they completed the sign task. No, they didn't. Ah. Can I farm plots? Oh, it's too cold to plant anything. Okay, so that's weird. Okay, maybe we'll wait till like later in the day. Because what's the temperature right now? Uh, let's see, I, A, uh, A, and then I think we have a thermometer, right? Yes, we actually have two. Cool. Uh, what's the temperature right now? 43 degrees. Yeah, it's kind of cold. We'll wait till it's a good amount warmer. Um, while we're doing that, we could look at unloading some stuff or maybe reading a little bit. I don't know. Or, oh no, we should look at the camp construction options. That's really what we should be doing. 
So... Oh, oh, actually, this is done. Right, we also had Tasia. Oh, the pantry's empty? Really? I thought I had tons of food. Um... Oh, what? I have literally zero food. Oh, God. Okay, well, we need to figure out the food situation for the camp, then. I probably need to go hunting. I mean, it'd be nice if those people would, you know, do some farming. I think I'm just gonna leave y'all behind. Man, I hate how they do that with the window. That's so annoying. They're like, oh, yeah, I won't open any doors, but uh, this window here looks pretty good. I'm just gonna tell everyone to just guard. Just everybody. Come here. Let's just have a little chat. Uh, tell someone to guard everyone. Why was that not actually everyone, though? Okay, so Harvey is down there. Okay. I see, there's Harvey. Why don't you guys come on in? Okay, you just... Okay, Harvey did get into. And then... I mean, I could take Harvey with us hunting. Tell someone to guard everyone. You know what? Harvey, you... are a hungry lad. But you shouldn't be blamed for that or anything. Um, maybe I could milk all these cows. Yeah, I should actually do that. I'm gonna go get, like, a metal tank. I'm, like, all worried about food, and we have a ton of cows, right? So let's get, like, a tank or something. Um, not exactly what we were hoping for. Oh, there's a two-liter tank. I mean, that's... It's not a good amount of volume. Let's just get a jug. Right? There's gotta be jugs in here. Yeah. North. It's actually been a while since uh, we've made um, cheese. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. <laughs> um, let's see. We need we need food right now to get the camp to be better. And that's really what we should do. No, do not stop milking the cow. That is so much milk. There's some left over. Um, so if I look at the raw milk... Um, Yeah, you might want to pasteurize or even boil this before drinking. You know, I mean, he is a cow person, right? Wait, where's Harvey? There you are. Hello, Harvey. Are you... What's going on with you right now? It looks like you're nauseous. So if I look at... Uh, oh, hold on. Cancel. Affirmative. Um, sorry. Talk to Harvey, and then we wanted to. Um, we wanted to look at N, I think, right? Yeah, N. Nausea. So he's not going to want to eat. And he's lacking sleep. Okay, you know what? Um. I think, Harvey, I'm gonna actually just tell you to relax so you can sleep. I think the other ones, they like they heal up and their needs go away if they're just like guarding. Um, if And if I look at you and I look at that, I'm you're a little thirsty. Um, started recovery. I think that that is new, that these limbs are starting to regain function. The fact that he's thirsty and he's not hungry, I think, means that they may have ate from the pantry. I'm not 100% sure. Um, why don't we just take a minute and uh, we're going to close this because I don't like that being open. And I'm going to make some milk, I think. <laughs> And then try and give that to the, the camp. Actually, can I uh, just 
pour that out. I think I can actually just pour that out for calories. If I unload. Yep. We're on the ground. And up here. I think I was doing this and it was working last time. It's dirty. This is that unedible. Um, I think it actually was edible then. Can I milk? Yeah, just milk that animal. You know, actually this is probably really weird for... <laughs> for our companion here. Yeah, okay, so... It does look like we are giving some food to people. If I look at this, um, that's like like a person right there, right? So like, it's okay. It's definitely like not the worst. I think uh, we want to prepare some of this as actual milk for ourselves as well as for our friend Harvey here. I mean, I know this is like such a weird thought, but I wonder if Harvey like now it looks at cows kind of like how he looks at humans and if he's like attracted to them. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like milk in the udders. It's like, dude, no, <laughs> just no. I can't believe my brain did that to me. Come on, brain. So raw milk. And I think this is just like, right, that's pasteurizing <laughs> it it really does boil rapidly that is absolutely true let's uh let's make a full 15 i'm gonna help myself a little bit and pour the rest in gallon jug and then we'll put the gallon jug here and then did I, I think, I feel like we had gallon jugs that were around here somewhere. There is an acoustic guitar there too. And an ammo belt? What? An American flag? What is going, why? Why are all those things there on the ground? It looks like I ran them over. I ran over bullets. How? What? How? That is, that is a crime. And so is running over the guitar. I'm not sure which one's worse. Or the American flag. Which we're wearing all of them now. <laughs> Hold on. We do need to get up and close and personal for that image. Dude's wearing an acoustic guitar. And an American flag. And guess what? He's gonna play some harmonica. <laughs> oh, cataclysm. He crap crack me up there. I am going to just dump a couple things here. And you know what? A little music didn't hurt anyone. So I'm just gonna keep on playing. Do we have the jugs? Yeah, we do have some jugs, but they're right there. And they're being used. I think we could probably make another gallon jug if we uh, reallocated like this bleach to something else. Uh, get the, get the bleach, yep. You can keep the harmonica in your inventory. Oh, and also the American flag, we should probably take that off too. Should probably repair that, man. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing, like the whole American flag and like giving it respect and everything. Like, I am 100% with people who historically have been oppressed by the United States having a problem with being told to display uh stuff okay so here's our radio tower that is that's kind of cool i didn't even bother to look for it <laughs> oh man so we got our bleach sorry i'm getting distracted maybe we'll do more stuff around here because i'm looking at it, it's like been a half an hour and we've like gotten nothing done uh, besides hangout. But yeah, it's like weird with the American flag and like the whole like you have to give respect to it thing. Like, I, I understand people, they've 
have died for the country, and I do respect them. Oh, Louis collapsed the ground in exhaustion. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I'm just, sorry, I'm just gonna take a second to debug and just get info on him. Uh, if I look at Louis, how's your health? Um, or your needs? And he's got stored food, he's a little thirsty, sleep deprivation, oh wow, so he was really tired. That is strange, just how tired he is. And it looks like he's really, really, really deficient in a lot of his vitamins. Ah, that's kind of crazy. I'm going to have to disable NPC needs. I think that you're also right about that. I, I enjoy it, but I think it doesn't make for as good of a entertaining experience for you guys. So I, I will get rid of it. And keep on reminding me. When you see this episode, remind me. Because it's gonna be a while from when I'm actually recording this. And I'm, I might have forgotten. <laughs> so please. Uh, let's see. Milk. I've got too many things. Um, things like this. Uh, kind of want to powder some of the milk. But we'll do that another time. Condensed milk? Yeah, no. Uh, so let's see. Milk? Yes, let's do that. As much as you'll let me. There should be a button to just go as many as it will let you. Again, I'll take a few of those. And then pour the rest in the gallon jug. Maybe. Yeah. And actually this, I'm going to... Sorry, I'm going to pour some of this into the other one and we'll keep the rest of it I'm just kind of curious if um, he's nauseous still so if I tell him to wake up he'll go back to sleep uh, he's so tired he'll go back to sleep after we're done with him um, thirst no not no nausea okay um, can I give you the milk then yeah F W, yep. Cool. Okay, he does like milk. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I need a cow to travel with us then. <laughs> um, and then uh, let's talk to you. And he is thirsty still. It doesn't look like he's that hungry though. If I... Um, I think it's size up stats, is that it? Thirsty will need food in more than one day. Okay, so he is he is actually thirsty. Um let's go ahead and get that water then. You know what I also need to do is like I need to transport water from this pump to our car. Or like from a lake or something. Is there any bodies of water? Oh yeah, there's that pond. Yeah, let's go fill up from our water with the pond. I think we'll want to do that. But we also are probably just gonna want to recharge our batteries. Um, slash repair solar panels, maybe? I think we actually maybe are missing some solar panels. Oh, you know what we need to do is we actually need to make upgraded solar panels. That is something that I should do. Let's just install install that solar panel, though, for now. We'll, we'll get, like, proper upgraded ones. But we might as well hook up... Um, as many solar panels as we have and we only had one okay but it looks like we have lost a number of them right that water cannon man i still don't understand yeah we're missing like three at least three solar panels i need to get on that um and i mean it is 52 degrees right now you have no seeds to plant. Well, guess what? Um, sorry. <laughs> really quick water. I mean, I have. Do I have a water purifier somewhere around here? 
Or does that... Did that run out of power? Yeah, it ran out of power. That's annoying. God, I hate doing this on camera. I'm not going to do it on camera. I'll deal with the water in a little while. Um, organize... Acquired items are not available. <laughs> I like how the, you know, I just realized the game doesn't require you to plant anything. No, Harvey, did you throw that all up? Nope, hold on. Affirmative, uh, Harvey, I wanted to look at N, right? And it doesn't say he's nauseous, so maybe he's just awake still. Uh, you can, you can relax, you can go to sleep. Yeah, he's already gone to sleep, look at that. Um, I think we needed a O here to do what we need. Yeah, pretty sure that's the, the tool it was saying that we needed to plant the stuff. You guys are a bunch of useless NPCs. <laughs> what is the required items? I mean, do I need to have these things in my inventory? Because if that's the case, then... Okay, here we go. So those all have been planted. Safe mode can go off. Uh, plant some tobacco seeds. Is it because the water here is in the way? I think it is. There was something kind of weird going on there. Um, I don't understand why. Why we're uh, we're thinking that we're done. We are definitely not done. We need to till the soil. Like it's saying to farm, but I'm not seeing it. If we go to here, there's a whole lot of plants that we should be able to plant here. So if I activate right there, and then I do this. Yeah, it's a... Uh, oh, that was the wrong one. Dang it. Aw, oh, man. Uh, let's see. I wanted... What was it that I wanted to plant here? Uh, what is that? Is that a zucchini? Oh, are these not active? Ha <laughs> uh, These need to be activated. And then they should get planted, right? Yeah. Um, organize farm plots. Sure, the, organ the required items are not available. Um, oh, did I just make the garden too big? I think I made the garden too big. Okay, I'll start the next episode off with figuring this out a little bit more. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.